We are here at the International New York Film Festival. We just finished watching a great film from Rory Knox, Ghosting Society. He's the producer, writer, and director. He's from Brooklyn, New York. So now, Corey, tell us a little bit um, how you got into creating the concept for this film and what was your inspiration for this? Well, it's actually, it's a, you're not going to expect this answer, but uh, basically uh, what happened was uh, last year uh, I was in a relationship with this girl and I truly thought we were going to, I was going to spend the rest of my life with her or be with her for a long time. Like we really clicked and I just truly thought we would be together for a long time and I truly was in love with her, but broke up with me on my birthday oh. and that was just devastating and when that happened usually I don't let like uh, usually I don't let stuff like that get to me but uh, when that happened on my birthday especially um, I was pretty devastated and I just wanted to go out in the wilderness and just <laughs> you know screw everybody I just wanted to ghost society like these characters do and uh, but then I thought, oh my gosh, that's a movie right there. So instead of, you know, hanging my head and moping around, I wrote the idea down and then eventually I actually wrote the entire plot line down and I was like, wow, that was a blessing in disguise. It gave me the idea for this amazing movie. So my ex-girlfriend, uh, who's not watching this, but I'll still say, thanks. <laughs> So uh, how long did it take you to actually write the script and then uh, the, the two uh, actors and the uh, lady who plays your wife in the film and you have um, a little girl who plays your daughter, yes. uh, are they friends, are they family? How did you get your core uh, cast together? So uh, the two actors who play the two others who go in the woods with me, mm -hmm. those are two of my best friends in the world. Like we went to... <laughs> film school together, we've known each other for a long time now, and I, uh, I made a movie last year that won some awards, and they were like, oh, I wish I could have been a part of that, and I was like, I, I want to include them, because these are two of the best actors and two of my best friends that I have, and I was like, we got to make a movie together, because mm -hmm. we made movies together growing up, and I just knew that the three of us would click, and we'd have amazing chemistry and I couldn't have been more right. Now uh, the actress who played my wife, uh, I hired her on backstage but she was really great. Uh, she was very friendly and sweet and it was a pleasure working with her. Same with uh, the actress who played my daughter. Yeah, I uh, found her on backstage and she did an incredible job and everybody did an incredible job in the movie. It was a pleasure with working with all of them. And I'm assuming that most people um, may be familiar with Backstage, but that is a publication for anyone who doesn't know where you get industry news, where you can find casting for theaters, shows, concert movies, whatever. So, um, all right. Now, what was your uh, budget for this? Um, I think around $2,000. Okay, so, and, so. Not too much money. Now, did you do the editing, or did you have someone else uh, edit the film? I edited it just because I didn't have anybody else to do it, um, I, and I didn't want to spend any more money to mm -hmm. uh, hire an editor. So, And also, this movie was really important to me, and I was at the point where I thought, you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So I just edited it myself, um, and it was it's always a hassle doing that, but... <laughs> I got it done, you know. Now, your, your friends, um, they don't know how to edit? Um, they do, but they just didn't have the time for it. Like, I asked them if they were interested in editing, but they were, they both hit me with like, oh, I, I'm too busy with work, man. I can't do it. And, you know, I already asked enough of, out of them acting in this movie. Like, we had a good time doing it, but it was hard. It wasn't easy to do this at all. How long did it take uh, it to film? It took like the whole summer, basically. Oh, wow. So it um, took, yeah, basically the whole summer because uh, there were several scenes that we had to reshoot mm -hmm. because 
uh, me as a director, I'm, I'm known to be kind of a perfectionist, so I looked at the clips that we shot and just, I didn't like what I saw, and they agreed with me. We didn't fight about it. Mm -hmm. They were like, they, we mutually agreed, like, mm -hmm. yeah, we could do better at this. We really wanted this to be good. And like, for one thing, the fire tower scene, that had to be shot three times, three different days. So, but obviously the third try, what third time was a charm, so that worked in our favor, thankfully. Now, what is your goal with this particular film, Ghosting Society? Well, um, I would like to spread it around to as you know as many festivals as I can and get as many as much attention out of it as I can because you know like my ultimate goal which I think the goal of many filmmakers and actors uh, here and in fe festivals is to have you know a real or like a working career where they make money you mm -hmm. know out of making movies or acting so mm -hmm. that's really my goal and Anything that you can tell us? Now you said this this came out of the inspiration for this came out of a situation that you had with somebody that you cared for. So you were able to put in this film really your emotions, your heart and soul. And sometimes I think when you have a situation like that, it's sort of like a therapy. It's something where you're working out in a constructive way. Something Absolutely. that Absolutely. you yes. That's how I looked yes. at this film as, yeah. I looked at it as an opportunity to, you know, just let out my emotions, and it really, truly made me feel better and helped me move on from that uh, heartbreak. And, and I'm very proud of it today. So, like I said, you know, I do believe that things happen for a reason, and maybe that happened so I could uh, continue uh, my passion. Now, as far as um, titles, credits, every aspect of the editing, you did yourself. Now, with this film, the locations where you filmed, were these locations that you had already lined up, or was it something that you need to search for? Because most of it seems to be in the woods, in the country, it's yeah. the beautiful settings. Now, you are from, you know, Brooklyn, so... I am from Brooklyn, but, yeah, none of it was filmed, filmed in, in New York City, City. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And so where was this filmed? The majority of it was filmed in New Hampshire, actually, oh my. because oh. that's where uh, my two fellow actors are from. Oh, friends. We all went to film school at Keene State College, mm -hmm. so they live in New Hampshire, so I had to make, like, three separate trips to New Hampshire in order to do this, but it was completely worth it you know, like a four hour drive for me, but I do enjoy going up there. It's a beautiful place. And uh, the scenes with uh, the two actresses, those were filmed in New York, not uh, the city, outside the city, mm -hmm. obviously to give it more country feel. And uh, there were certain scenes that were filmed in South Carolina, because I wanted this movie to take place in the South, and I just happened to be down there for a different event and I decided why not get some footage of that place so I can mix it in and give it the southern feel that we were hoping for. Mm -hmm. Okay, before um, we sat down for this interview, uh, we lined up uh, one person in the audience uh, to ask a question. So we're going to bring this person uh, into the discussion right now. You may ask your question. <laughs> It is hard to do, um, but I've just I have just learned to, you know, not make a big deal about it uh, because my you know the reason why I do that is you know when you're a struggling actor in New York City and you can't find any gigs, which is basically the situation I was in, I kind of felt that my only option was to make my own stuff, like make my own movies and. Uh, direct myself. Um, it's challenging. It's it's incredibly challenging to direct yourself and be in charge of the whole production while acting at the same time. It's not easy at all. But you know, I'm always willing to uh, 
step up to the challenge and get the work done because you know, that's how passionate I am. Um, well, I'm not going to give out names or anything, but, you know, there are certain people I know that have considered suicide, and uh, a good friend of mine back in the day did take their life, and so that's why, and uh, when I was much younger, like much younger, I was suicidal myself, so suicide has always been a hot topic in my life, and within very close friends of mine, and so that's why I felt it was important to put that in this movie and really spread the message that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. It is not the answer. It is the worst mistake a human being could possibly make, and I just want to, you know, try to make a difference and in someone's life, hopefully one day, and keep them in this world. Well, we want to thank you so very much, uh, Rory, for this interview, and we Having look forward. Me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we haven't talked ever since the day we broke up. She ghosted me 100%, and <laughs> so I yeah, complete our contact completely cut off by her ever since we broke up. So no, she has not seen this. She's never going to see it, and. Frankly, I don't want her to see it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. And thank you very much, Rory Knox. And we look thank forward you, to seeing more work from you in the future. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>